there. Thank you for joining me for today's workout. This is a power yoga class. Grab your bricks, grab your strap, anything you feel you need to assist you in this practice. And we're going to go ahead and get started on our spine. So lay all the way back. And if you do have a brick, take that brick and put it under your spine. Your shoulder blades are going to pop out over the brick and the arms are going to go wide. So as the feet can come together, or you could just have the knees bent and point them up. Kind of knock them together might be good too. You want to start to open up the chest. And then start to breathe. Notice the inhale and the exhale and scan the body and see what the body's telling you. Just take a few breaths, passively opening up the chest area, the fronts of the shoulders. When it feels right, you can start to deepen the breath. Breathe into the count of four. Breathe out to the count of eight. Inhale. Then on your exhale, try to sink a little deeper, relax a little deeper into the pose. Clearing the mind. Just a couple more breaths here. And then we're going to remove the brick under our spine. So go ahead and come up on your elbows. Remove the brick. And we're going to take it and place it underneath our hips. Good. And then extend the legs long, just stretching out the fronts of those legs. Arms can still be wide, toes turn out. You're here for just, just a few seconds, breathing in and breathing out. Now, point the toes up, bring the heels in line with your hips, bring the right knee in, lace your hands around your front shin and draw that right knee towards your right shoulder. And then go ahead and straighten the right leg to your own degree, little hamstring stretch. Bend the knee as much as you need to as your first hamstring stretch. Go ahead and re-bend the knee, slide the right leg long next to the left leg, and bring the left knee in. Lace your hands around the shin, draw the shin towards your left shoulder. It's starting to open up that hip, stretching through the glute. And then when you're ready, straighten the left leg, and just a little bit of hamstring stretch, being nice to that hamstring. Reap in the left knee, put the left heel in front of the left hip, right heel in front of the right hip. We're going to lift the hips for bridge pose. So remove the brick or keep the brick if you want a restorative bridge pose. Take your hands by your heels and lift the hips up. If you want, roll your shoulders under you, bind your hands, stretching through the entire front body, opening the chest, the core, the hip flexors, the quads, working the back body. Back muscles are working, glutes are working, hamstrings are working. Take just a couple more breaths. Go ahead and come on out of that. Unroll the shoulders. Lower down slow, but first. Good. And bring the knees into your belly. Wrap your arms around your shins. Roll around on that low back. 
And then go ahead and take your feet mat width apart, point the knees up. I dream of genie the arms and drop the legs to the left and arms to the right. Let your nose follow your arms to start working the neck. And then inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, drop everything to the right. Let your nose follow your arms. Inhale up. Do these a few times side to side. And just a couple more. And then come to stillness. Bring the knees into the belly. Cross your ankles, rock to sit. Bring hands and knees to the mat. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And tuck your toes. Cat cow, inhale, lift the heart, the tail, the nose. Exhale, round like cat, ribs to hips and chin to chest. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Do this a few times, inhaling up. And exhaling down, stretching through each vertebra. Just getting the spine warm. Do just one more both ways. And then wherever you are, find stillness. Take your right ear to your right hip. And I want you to look at that right hip to stretch the neck. And then go over to the left and do the same thing. Just trying to look at that hip and finding a little bit of a side bend. And working the neck as well. Arms are really strong. Hands are pressing into the earth. One more each side. And then find stillness. Step the feet back to plank, shift back to downward facing dog, hips go high, hands are shoulder width, inner elbows are turning forward, heels are trying to touch the earth. Go ahead and start to walk it out, bending one knee, driving opposite heel towards the earth. Your gaze is somewhere between your legs. Your index fingers are pointing forward and you're pressing all four corners of your hands into the earth. Focus a little bit on the thumb and index finger, pressing those down as well. Take just a few more breaths here. And then when you're ready, find complete stillness. Bring your big toes to touch with the option to put the left knee down. Inhale the right toes up, open the hip. Stack the right hip over the left hip. Point the right knee as high as you possibly can. Let the right shoulder pop up on this one. We're gonna stretch through that right side body and then make some ankle circles with the right ankle. And then go the other way with the ankle circles. And then pause. Bring the right knee into the belly and hinge forward. Nose to knee. Press the floor away. Use your core for five, four, three, two, one. And then right foot, right thumb. Left hand under left shoulder. Bring right hand to the heart and take a twist. Look up at your right hand if you can. Go ahead, breathe for five, four. Drive through that left heel. Press the right foot down. One more breath. Bring right hand outside right foot. Lift left toes up, inhale. Exhale, fold again, stretching through that right hamstring. Your second hamstring stretch, but still be kind to your body because you're not very warm. Just a couple more breaths here. And then bring your back foot to your front foot. Inhale, halfway up, long spine, look forward. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway up, long spine. And exhale, hinge and fold. One more, inhale, halfway up. And exhale, we fold down. Bend knees, press feet, straight spine. Inhale, rise, tilt the fingers, look up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, bend elbows, open the heart. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Plant the hands, step to plank. Drop the knees if you want. We're gonna lower slow to the mat. The elbows are hugging the ribs as we go down. Hands are under shoulders. Untuck your toes, lift your kneecaps and draw your shoulders up and back and down. Squeeze the shoulder tips together. On the inhale, lift the heart, your cobra. You don't have to lift very high and lower down. Inhale, lift, you lift to your own degree, no pain in low back. And exhale down. 
One more time. Inhale, lift to your own degree. And on the exhale, lower down. On the inhale, lift one more time. Stay. Push back to child's pose, butt over heels, forehead down. And take a couple of breaths, knowing you can come here anytime you want. Now press the hands, lift the hips, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can drop the right knee if you want. We're going to bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, the left toes high, open the hip. Open left shoulder to the stretch through the left side body. You can look under right armpit for left foot, make some ankle circles. Try to point left knee super high. And then go the other way with the ankle circles. And then pause. Bring the left knee into the belly, hinging forward, nose to knee, pressing the floor away with really strong arms. Breathing for five, four, three, two, one, and then left foot, left arm. Right hand under right shoulder, left hand to the heart for a twist. Lift the left arm high, look up. Good. Right arm is really strong, it's pressing the floor away. And then bring left hand outside, left foot. On the inhale, the right toes lift. And exhale, you fold, nose to shin, dropping the head. Head is heavy, neck is soft. Breathing for five. Bring your back foot to your front foot. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands and fold. Inhale, bend knees, press feet, rise. Tint the fingers, look up. And exhale, my hands to heart. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bend elbows, open the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold down. Inhale, halfway up. Plant the hands, step or hop to plank or your chaturanga. Lower down. On the inhale, lift the heart, cobra, maybe up dog. And on the exhale, your downward facing dog, tucking the toes, hips go high. Good, we're gonna do two sun salutations to build heat. Take a couple more breaths here. Skip the parts you don't want. Find an inhale, bend the knees, lift the hips. Exhale, they are out, and then step or lightly hop, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up, super long spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, bend knees, press feet, rise, tint the fingers, look up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend elbows, open the heart. Your back bend. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Plant the hands, step or hop to plank or your chaturanga. Vinyasa, if you want it, always an option to drop the knees if you'd like, or to go to child's pose or down dog, skipping it entirely. You could also hold plank instead to build some core strength. When you're ready, find down dog and take five breaths. Breathing in, breathing out, feet hip width, biceps by the ears. Feet can always be wider as well. Take just a couple more breaths. Let's do it again. Press the hands deeply into the earth. Bend the knees, lift the hips, inhale. Exhale the air out and step or lightly hop top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up, find length in your spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, bend knees, press feet, straight spine to stand. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend elbows and open the heart. Inhale, lift the arms, and exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Plant the hands, step or hop to plank or your chaturanga. And take your vinyasa if you want it. Skipping the parts you don't want. Making the practice your own. Tucking the toes, finding down dog. And breathing five breaths. Biceps by the ears. Good. Now Sunbeam will add on Warrior One in chair. Find an inhale, bend the knees, lift the hips. Exhale, they are out. Step or lightly hop top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift the arms. And then bend the knees deeply and find chair. Butt goes back. 
arms reach up, biceps by the ears, core is engaged, squeezing the quads, and then see if you can tint the fingers together. Can you lift your heels and maybe lift the heart? Good, breathing for five, and we'll go to tippy toe stand in four, three, two, one, inhale, tippy toe stand all the way up, exhale, heels down, inhale, reach, exhale, open the heart, inhale, reach the arms, exhale, bend the knees deeply, find chair, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, lift the heels, squeeze those quads for five, we'll fold in four, three, two, one, go ahead and fold all the way down, Inhale, halfway up, plant the hands, step or hop to plank or chaturanga. Take vinyasa if you want it, skip it if not. Find down dog, warrior one is quick, big toes touch. Inhale, right toes high. Right foot, right thumb, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, arms lift up, left hip comes forward. Exhale, bend elbows and open the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, low lunge. Plank or single leg plank. Take vinyasa if you want it. Skip it if not. And find down dog. Big toes touch, left toes lift. Exhale, left foot, left thumb. Back foot flat, warrior one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend elbows, open the heart. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, low lunge, plank or single leg plank. Vinyasa if you want it. Breathe. Good. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Find rest. Biceps by the ears for five. Four. Okay, one more time to build heat. Find an inhale, bend the knees, lift the hips. Exhale, the air out. Step or lightly hop, top of the mat. Inhale, chair pose. Biceps by the ears, sink low. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the heels. Inhale, tippy toe stand. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open heart. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, your chair. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, heels lift. Inhale. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Plant the hands, step or hop to plank or chaturanga. Watch the shoulders if you hop to chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, down dog. Big toes touch, inhale, left toes high. Exhale, left foot, left thumb, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, bind the hands behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, hinge and fold, left shoulder to left knee. Inhale, come all the way up and reach the hands. And exhale, low lunge. Plank or single leg plank, your vinyasa. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, down dog, big toes touch. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, right foot, right thumb, back foot flat. Warrior one, inhale, the arms lift. Exhale, bind the hands behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold over, right shoulder to right knee. Inhale, arms lift up. And exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank or single leg plank. Your vinyasa. Breathing. Downward facing dog. Hopefully you're getting warm. Take five, four, and three, and two, and one. Down dog to plank. Inhale, roll out to plank. Hold your plank. Look over your mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet could be wide. Knees could go down. Big toes could touch. Inhale, roll out to plank. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, down dog. Mm, inhale. Exhale, let's do it again. Inhale, roll it out. Look over your mat. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, down dog. So good. One more. Inhale, roll out. 
Look over your mat. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower slow elbows bend. Drop the knees if you'd like. Once you're there, lay the belly down, untuck your toes, and bind your hands behind you. Squeeze shoulder tips together and use a towel or a strap if you prefer. On the inhale, lift the heart, press the toes down, and see how high you can lift. Lift your fist off your butt for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower. Bring hands under shoulders, tuck your toes. Inhale, exhale, push the plank, knees up or knees down. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big toes touch. Inhale, right toes high. Right foot, right thumb, back foot, flat warrior two. Heel to heel or heel to back arch. On the inhale, left arm lifts up. And exhale, your warrior two. Front thigh can be parallel with the earth. Now, draw the shoulders up and back and down. Lunge deeper. Turn your right palm up. Inhale, reverse it. Right hand, left shoulder. Left hand, right elbow. Elbow behind the head. Lean the head into the elbow. Lunge deeper. Exhale, elbow to back foot for five. Your gaze can be at the floor. Four, three, two, one. Now, stay where you're at in the lunge and just lift the arms up. And exhale, warrior two. Bring your elbow to your thigh. Left arm over left ear. Straighten the right arm. Keep the lunge. Circle left fingers towards the earth. Exhale, lift them up. Inhale, make the circle. And can your eyes follow your hand? Exhale, circle again. Inhale, lift them up. Keep the lunge. Stay here. Or bring the left bicep over the left ear and get as long as you can from the left toes to the left fingers. Or take left hand behind your back, let it rest on the inner right thigh, pull the left shoulder head back. Those of you who take full bind, take full bind, right hand under right thigh. Straighten the arms. Gaze at the floor, the wall, or the sky for five. Four, lunge deeper. Three, two, one. Go ahead, look at your right foot. Bring right hand inside right foot, left hand two, pop up left heel. Bring right hand to the heart, twist again. Come onto the left pinky toe edge of the left foot. Gaze up at your right hand, left arm is strong for five, four, three, two, one. Moving to side plank, put left knee down or left elbow. Take right hand to the right foot, lift up the right foot. Stack or stagger your feet. Bring right hip over the left hip. Good. Stay here or circle the right arm. Inhale the fingers to the back wall. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, fingers to the back wall. Exhale up. One more. So good. Pause. Bring right hand to the mat. Plank or single leg plank. Vinyasa if you want it. Skip the parts you don't want and find downward facing dog. Sit bones are high. Rest for five. Biceps by the ears. You could be in child's pose for the three and two. One more breath. We're moving on to side B. Big toes touch. Inhale, left toes high. Bring the left knee in, left foot, left thumb. Warrior two. Back foot flat. Good. Inhale, right arm up. And find warrior two. Left thigh can be parallel with the earth. Shoulders up, back, and down. Core engage. Legs are strong. Feet are pressing. Look over third left fingers. Turn left palm up. Inhale, left hand, right shoulder. Right hand, left elbow. Pull the elbow behind your head, lean your head into it. And then take your right elbow towards your back foot, lunge deeper, gaze at the floor for five, four. Keep that core engaged, three, two, one. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, your warrior two, stay here. Inhale, reach forward, elbow to thigh. Right arm goes high, maybe over right ear. Good. Straighten your left arm. Make some circles. Right fingers towards the earth. Keep the lunge. Inhale up. 
Exhale the fingers down. Can you follow the hand with your eyes? Inhale up. One more. And then pause. Keep the lunge. Stay here or bring bicep over ear and get as long as you can from right toes to right fingers. Or take a half bind, right hand behind your back. Let it rest on inner left eye. Pull right shoulder head back. Or full bind. You don't have to do that. Towel or strap or hands bind. And then try to straighten the arms. Pull the right shoulder back. Keep the core engaged. Take the gaze where it feels right for five. Look at your left foot. Bring your left hand inside left foot. Right hand inside that foot as well. Pop up the right heel. Bring the left hand to the heart. Turn the heart to the left. Float the left arm high. If you want, put right pinky toe edge of foot on the earth. Good. Breathing for five. We are going to take that right side plank. Right elbow, right knee could go down. So take left hand to the left foot. Lift it up. Stack or stagger or keep the left toes high. Lift the left fingers high. Breathing. Now circle the left fingers towards the earth. Inhale and back up. Exhale, we circle. Inhale, we lift. One more. Mm. Pause. Left hand down. Plank or single leg plank. Take what you need. You might move to child's pose. It's okay. Breathing. Meet me in down dog or child's pose for five. Mm, draw those shoulders from the ears for rest. Good. Spine is long and straight. So good. Bring your big toes to touch. Come up high on tippy toes. And then take tiny tippy toe steps up towards your hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Rest for a moment, gaze forward. Shoulders up, back and down. Five. And four. And good. Let's stand on one leg. Put left foot down. We are going to take tree pose. So left foot down, right big toe, left arch. Or lower leg. Skip that knee entirely. Go high thigh. Good. Or if you want, half lotus, pinky toe, edge of foot into the hip crease, knee points down. Take what you need here. All right. Now, if you want, hands at heart, arms high. Good. If you have half lotus, you might take right hand to the right foot and lift the left arm high or bring hands to the heart, whatever feels appropriate for your body. Take just a couple breaths here, breathing in and breathing out. So good. If you have the hand behind you, lift the right arm up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lift the right knee up wherever it is. Hold, flex right foot for three, two, one. Inhale, lift the arms. Can you move to warrior three for me slowly? Take your time, no hurry. Take right heel to the wall behind you, slowly finding warrior three. Spinning right inner thigh towards the sky. Getting right heel in line with right glute. Biceps by the ears for five, four, three, two, one. Bring hands to the earth. Bring back foot to the front foot. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hinge, fold down. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Good. Rest again. Feet under hips for five, four, three, two, and one. Now back to tree. Right foot down. Use that wall if you need it. Right foot down. Bring left big toe to right arch. Low leg. High thigh. 
hands to heart or half lotus, left pinky toe edge of the foot to the hip crease and the knee points down if you take half lotus. Hands at heart, arms high, or left arm snakes behind you and tries to grab the foot. Good, breathing, pulling low ribs in for three breaths, breathing in and breathing out. Finding your focal point forward. And if your hands behind you, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, hands to heart. Slowly lift left knee up wherever you are. Flex the foot, hold for three, two, one. Inhale, lift the arms. Move to that warrior three very slowly. Left heel goes behind you. Left heel in line with left glute. Biceps by the ears. Breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Hands to the earth. Put left toes down. Turn right toes towards the left mat. Go wide with your feet. And then bend left knee, lift right toes, get into those inner thighs, hands to the heart, hands to the earth or a brick, or bind the hands behind you. And then switch to the other side, bending right knee, lifting left toes, maybe right shoulder touches right knee, and switch over. And just work those inner thighs. Head is heavy, spine is straight, gazing at the floor. Good. Now, wherever you are, we're going to go to one side, and I want you to hold whatever side you're on for five, four, three, two, one, and then go to the other side and do the same thing for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands to the earth, turn the right toes forward, and step to plank. And then, Vinyasa, if you want it, or child's pose. Lower down. <laughs> Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, down dog. Good. Biceps by the ears. <laughs> Breathe here for five. Pressing hands into the earth. Four, three, two, one. Good job. We're going to take Fallen Triangle. Big toes touch. Inhale, right toes high. Bring right knee to the belly. Put right pinky toe edge of foot on the earth. Spin the back foot flat. Right hand under right shoulder or stepped out a bit. Left hand to the heart. Lift left arm high. Fallen Triangle. Stay here. Or if you want to make this harder, lift the right foot off the earth. And hold for five. Wherever you are. Four, three, two, one. Bring right knee to the belly. Bring left hand to the earth. Right foot, right thumb. Drop left knee down, untuck left toes. Walk hands to the thighs. Pull the pelvic floor and the low ribs in. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, tilt towards the right floor, stretching through the left side body. Inhale, right arm up. Mm, exhale, bind the hands behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. Open the heart. Breathing, stretching through the entire front body. That left thigh, left hip flexor, left quad, the core. Inhale, lift the arms. On the exhale, both hands down. Walk right foot to the edge of right mat. And maybe walk it forward and then turn the toes out for your lizard. You might tuck the back toe and walk the back knee back a bit. Good. Find what feels good in your body. You can stay here or take your elbows to a brick or a mat. You can shine the heart forward or you can drop the head. Good. We're resting here for about five breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Roll on the right pinky toe edge of the foot if that feels good, but remember the knee has to follow the toes at all times. You have things inside that knee that can tear and rip, okay? So be careful with that. Now 
Now you have the option of staying here or moving into the twist. So take what you need, skip what you don't. Left hand, add your left mat, maybe left elbow down. Okay, I like my left elbow down. And then lift the left toes and find thigh meat, not kneecap. And bring right hand to the heart, lift right arm high, and stay here, or hand, towel, or strap to back foot. And then bring the heel to the bum. If you do that, drop the left hip flexors lower. Lift the heart higher. Draw the right shoulder back. Gaze at the floor, the wall, or the sky for five. And four, and three, and two, and one. Go ahead and come on out of it. Bring right hand to the mat. Mm, put left toes down. Draw the left hip back. Good. We're going to slide the right foot over to the left. We're going to cross the right knee over the left knee, and then bring the butt between the feet. Okay. Now, sit on a brick if you need to, or take an easy cross with your legs. So you could just do an easy cross like this, all right? We're gonna hit that neck real quick while we rest. Take the arms wide. Bring the right arm under the left arm, hold shoulders, backs and hands or palms, elbows lift up. And then take the fingers towards the right shoulder and the left ear to the left shoulder. Breathing. Inhale, point the nose up. Exhale, chin to same collarbone, chin to the left collarbone. Inhale, lift the nose. Exhale, unwind the arm, bind the hands together. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold over your legs and drop the head. You'll feel a stretch in that right hip. Fist goes high, head hangs low. Breathing for five. Inhale, lift the head, release the hands. Put the right foot flat and point the right knee up and take your left arm across your right shin. Lift right arm high for your twist. Inhale, exhale, right hand behind you. Turn your nose, look over that shoulder. Stay here, left elbow outside the right thigh. Good. You could also take a bind, left hand through that hole you created. Towel or strap or right hand connects, pulling right shoulder back, turning the chin towards the right shoulder for a beautiful neck stretch for five. Go ahead and come on out of it. Bring both knees to the mat. Step to a plank. Do you need a vinyasa? Take it or just skip it. Go to child's pose and rest or down dog. And we're all going to meet in downward facing dog. My sit bones are high. And breathe here for five breaths. Breathing in, breathing out before we hit side B. Now, side B, bring big toes to touch. Inhale, left toes high. Bring the left knee into the belly. Left foot outside the right mat for that fallen triangle. Put the right foot flat. Left hand under left shoulder or stuffed out a bit. Bring right hand to the heart and lift the right arm high. Now, if you wanna make this harder, lift the left leg. You don't have to do that. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Bring left knee to the belly. Bring right hand to the mat and put left foot next to left thumb. Drop right knee, untuck right toes. Bring hands to thighs. Mm, engage the core. Inhale, lift right arm up. Exhale, tilt towards the left floor. You can look at that left floor. Breathing for five. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, bind the hands behind you, squeeze shoulder tips together, use towel strap if you want. Inhale, lift the heart, open through the chest, stretch through the front of that right leg for five. Inhale, lift the arms. 
Exhale, both hands inside left foot. Walk left foot to the edge of left mat. Then walk the toes forward and turn the toes out. Yep, pad right knee if you need to. You can even walk right knee back a bit if you like. And then bring elbows to the mat or a brick or keep the arms straight. Shining the heart up, dropping the head. You can roll on left pinky toe edge of the foot, remembering knee has to follow toes. And just find your breath here. And that four eight breath is excellent. Breathing into four, and breathing out to eight. Nice. Shoulders are soft. Now you can stay here or move into that twist. If you don't want the twist though, you're welcome to just stay here. If you want the twist, bring your hands to the mat. Walk your right hand to the edge of right mat or maybe right elbow down. Lift the right toes, thigh meet, not kneecap. Bring left hand to the heart and lift and you can stay here. You don't have to grab that back foot. But if you'd like to, feel free, go ahead. Bring heels to the bum, drop the right hip lower, lift the heart higher. Keep the core active. Gaze can be at the floor, the wall, or the sky. Four, five. One more breath. And when you're ready, we're gonna come out of it. So put the right toes down. Bring left hand to the mat, right hand too. You're gonna draw the left hip back. We're gonna take that left foot over to the right mat. And then we're gonna cross the right knee in front of the left knee and spread the feet wide and bring the butt between the feet. And again, you can take that easy seat here if you'd like. Now, once you have your pose, bring the heels in. If you're in cow face pose, take the arms wide. Bring the left arm under the right arm. Hold shoulders, backs and hands or palms, elbows lift. And then fingers to the left shoulder and right ear to the right shoulder. Lift the sternum, stretching that left neck, stretching the back of the shoulders. Breathing. Inhale, lift the nose, look up. Exhale, chin to the same collarbone, look down. Inhale, lift the nose. Exhale, the arms go wide, bind the hands, squeeze shoulder tips together. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold over that left leg, feeling a stretch in that left hip. Breathing, make sure that left hip is not on top of that right lower leg. Breathing, no stretch deeper if it's not on that leg. Head is heavy, neck is soft. Inhale, lift the nose. Exhale, release the hands. Put the left foot flat, point the left knee up. Take the right arm across the left shin, lift left arm high, inhale. Exhale, hand behind you, lift the heart. Let your nose look over your left shoulder. Stay here, bring the right elbow outside the left thigh. Or take a bind, slide that hand through that hole you created. Use towel or strap or hands to create the bind and take a few more breaths. Last breath is here. And go ahead and come on out of it. Good. Now, go ahead and come to your spine. <laughs> And take the feet mat with apart, spread the arms wide and drop the legs left and right. Just working all that stuff out. Mm. 
Okay, and then just pause. So take the feet in front of the hips, point the knees up, hands behind your head, basic crunches, and then elbows go wide. Now I want you to just think about lifting your sternum to the ceiling and nose points up and lower down, and then lift and lower. Low back stays down, elbows stay wide, the neck stays in neutral. You're pointing the nose up. Good. We're here. Four, five, four, three, two. Now stay up and just pulse for ten, nine, eight. So just little half lifts. We're staying high, pulsing just a little. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and lay it down. Take your hands by your heels, lift your heels to the heavens. So, hands by the hips, heels to the heavens. Flex your feet and just lift, working that lower belly for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, so good. Bring the heels by your hips, preparing for bridge or wheel. Inhale, lift the hips. Stay here, roll the shoulders under the spine, lacing the hands, breathing with hips high for five. Maybe wheel pose if it's in your practice. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and unroll the shoulders one at a time. Lower all the way down. Good. Arms go wide. Drop the legs left and right again. So good. And then pause. Extend the left leg long. Flex left foot. Lift right toes high. Hamstring stretch. Bend right knee if you need to. Shoulders are soft. Take mm, just a few breaths here, stretching through the back of that leg. You've had a few hamstring stretches, so see what you can get out of this one, but be very kind to that hamstring. Don't overstretch. Go ahead and pause. Bend the right knee. Bring it over the left thigh. Hands to knees, shins, ankles, or pinky to edges of feet. Rock a little side to side, just stretching through that right glute. Just a bit more that right hip. Go ahead and release. Take the right leg long, right heel on the floor, leg straight. Lift left leg up. Find your hamstring stretch here, being nice to that hamstring, softening the shoulders, flexing the left foot, flexing the right foot too. Bending the left knee as much as you need to. Shoulders are very, very soft. And following the breath. And coming out of it, bend left knee. Bring the left thigh over the right thigh. Hands to knees, shins, ankles, or pinky toe edges of feet. And rock a little side to side. Stretching through the left hip, left glute. You're going to feel that left IT, maybe, maybe not. Go ahead. 
ahead and release the feet. Take the legs high and wide, maybe hands to the inside arches or peace fingers and thumbs to the big toes, elbows towards the earth, stretching a little bit more through the back of the legs, those inner thighs. Those of you who would prefer to take a plow pose or a shoulder stand, go ahead and do that. So you might bend the knees, take hands to the low back, watching the neck and taking toes towards the earth, pressing the toes into the earth if possible. Um, to find length in the back of the legs. Find what you need. Maybe the toes go high for shoulder stand. When you're ready to come out of that, bend the knees. Bring the knees by your ears, hands to the earth. And then wherever you are, just roll on out of it. Mm, take the legs long. Let's take fish pose as a counter pose. Take your hands by your hips. Come up on your elbows and walk your elbows back. And then just point the toes and open the heart, drop the head. Breathing for five. Inhale, lift the torso and then straighten the neck. Come all the way down to the mat. Wrap your arms around your shins. Rock a little side to side one more time. And then when you're ready, final rest. Extend the left leg long. Extend the right leg long. Arms go wide, palms up. Forget all about the deep breathing. Mm, just rest. Let your body melt into the mat. And I want you to say to yourself three times, I want you to take deep breaths. And each time you exhale, I want you to say in your head, let it go. And just let all that stuff go. Find an inhale, start wiggling your fingers and toes. When you're ready, bring the knees into the belly. Wrap your arms around your shins, rock a little side to side. And then when it feels right, drop the knees to the right. Extend the right arm and lay the right cheek on the right arm. I'm going to read to you while you're here. Psalm 2911 says, The Lord blesses his people with peace. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Psalm 29, verse 11. Take two more breaths right where you're at. When you're ready, we're going to come to that easy seat. Yep. Take your time. Press your palms into your heart space. Draw the shoulders up, back, and down. Close your eyes and tuck your chin. And acknowledge the gift that you've been given. You have a beating heart. You have breath in your lungs. And every single breath you take is a great gift. We breathe together twice. Inhale, fill the lungs up. Retain the breath for three, two, one. Exhale, let it go. Once more with gratitude. Inhale, fill the lungs all the way up. Retain the breath for three, two, one. Exhale, big sigh out. The strength in me honors the strength in each one of you with the deepest respect and with much love. Thank you for spending this time with me.